mentioned that possibility of some more storms heading to Mount Charleston. Do you have any concerns about that? You know, I, I'm not anticipating anything like what they were dealing with on Sunday and Sunday night into Monday morning when a lot of that six, seven, eight inches of rain fell up in the mountains. But, you know, thunderstorms not good for the crews moving rocks. Uh, and mud and working on some of those power lines. So we will watch some scattered storms, uh, not only down here in the valley this afternoon, but even more so up in the higher terrain. That chance is down to 20% Friday and good news for Mount Charleston as well as Lee Canyon. It's completely dry and calm and quiet by the weekend. How about this show? This might be the best lightning photo uh, that I've seen in Las Vegas in years. Just such clarity here. This is taken from the east side of the valley by Tyler Levitt, very talented uh, photographer. And uh, I snapped this cloud to ground bolt. I can see the strat there and then MGM Grand down here. So I know he's looking from the east side of the valley. Uh, same perspective, just different lightning bolt. I mean, whew, how about that? And boy, the rain was torrential. Wednesday evening between about 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. in parts of town. We've got one or two small showers out there as we approach midday on our Thursday. As we pivot into the early in the mid afternoon, some new storms are going to blossom first over the higher terrain and they should lift and drift off to the northeast. So anything down in the mountains of southern Clark County or down toward the California line may drift in our general direction storms up in the spring mountains could clip spots like Centennial Hills and North Las Vegas and Aliante and Lone Mountain. So we'll keep an eye on the radar through the afternoon. It's not going to be a washout. Many of us will miss out the chance in any one spot about 30%. We think with though some of those spotty storms, some lightning, some gusty wind and the threat of some locally heavy rain. It's still humid out there, so these storms can squeeze out the atmosphere as moisture. Uh, just a slim, almost negligible 10% chance in the valley tomorrow. And then, hey, it's the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We're sunny, we're hot, uh, 103 and 104. Humidity starts to trend in a drier direction, but with the triple digits this weekend and a little bit of mugginess, it's going to be a good one for the pool. Looking at nothing but sunshine out to the east, we're in the 80s and low 90s already here. But then over the mountains, you see some of those clouds starting to build and we'll have to watch those. They may yield one or two spotty storms across southern Nevada, including maybe even here in Las Vegas through the afternoon. So pick up at school for the kiddos, the grandkids. We may have to dodge one or two downpours. Hopefully that's not the case for you. Uh, most of us are dry Friday, 100 degrees, still kind of humid into the start of the weekend. 103 Saturday, 104 Sunday. Look at this, 105 Monday, 107 Tuesday. Kelsey, just check the records. Uh, the record Tuesday is 110, so we'll, we'll be close to that and a little breezy next week as well. A little too close for comfort. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Coming up on Channel 13, unemployment claims are down according to the Department of Labor.